consistent year-round access to the sun's energy. Barbados is well positioned to build on its current exploits in renewable energy. This is according to Hiko Stieber, project manager with SMA Solar Technology, a German company that supplies photovoltaic panels and regulation systems. The company recently worked with Emera Caribbean Renewables Limited on a major local project. For me, as a solar expert, I can say you can turn off a solar system in Germany from December to February because we don't have any sunlight <laughs> to produce energy. Here in Barbados, you have so much sunlight, like I noticed already, that it would be perfect for you because you can produce all year long. Mr. Stieber said the initial investment is usually the greatest challenge to installing any photovoltaic system since it is often quite substantial. He said ultimately Barbados could explore other types of renewable energy to have a mixture of systems. The first thing what I see is you have lots of sunshine and there's also availability of wind. But this would not be the only two sources that I would see. I would also see conventional sources like diesel gen sets, but efficient systems in this case. Maybe if you have the chance to hook yourself up to thermal power, if you have the availability here, I'm not sure about this. But I would really like to see a mixture of different production systems, and then you will find out, building up the system, what is the best for you or what mixture is the best for you. The Barbados Revenue Authority is still on course to start issuing income tax for funds before the end of this month. This is according to Erica Lazar, communications officer with the BRA. In a brief interview with CBC, she said the authority is still working to ensure that the process can get going over the next few days. Earlier this year, the tax filing deadline was extended from April 30th to May 7th. At the time, BRA officials said the extension was because the online system was inaccessible to taxpayers for a few days. Banks Holdings Limited is restarting its popular brewery tours for visitors and Barbadians. While it has been a number of years since the company last hosted the tours at its old Wildy location, Chief Commercial Officer Ray Chiatao says they will again be partnering with cruise ships and hotels at the new Newton Christchurch location. The tours are expected to recommence before year end. Proximity was certainly our, ben our, our great benefit there because we were on the main road in Wildy. We were less than 10 minutes away from the bridge on cruise terminal. Um, and we had several contracts with several uh, tour operators. We plan to uh, establish that again this year. Um, a little bit more out, out of the way, but I think we have a lot more to offer with the new technology and the new brewery. We have a wider range of product. As you know, we have launched our craft beer series. Um, and here at Banks, we now have four different brands of uh, lager, beer. Uh, so it's not just a single brand at a single brewery um, and there's a lot of curiosity here now is a look at how stocks traded on selected exchanges across the region <laughs>